Hi there and welcome to part 5 of the Autodesk Factory Design Suite tutorial here at Man & Machine TV. I'm James Smith, Factory Design Specialist here at Man & Machine and in today's episode I'm going to be covering asset chaining. Into the main overall layout, we can go back and select the reference, so let's open up the existing cell that we've just been working on. So you'll still notice the whole bi-directional productivity workflow between Inventor and AutoCAD is very good now it's been worked on so you can work on 2D when it's suitable and 3D when it's suitable for 3D. So now I'm just going to go for a process called asset chaining. I'm just going to search for a, a cable tray. So I'm going to select the cable tray chain. Let's quickly search for that. And now if I drag this across into the 2D, I'm simply going to draw a poly, polygon line and you'll see this is created in a cable tray for me. Once I'm complete, enter that and that's fine. So I've now added that in, so that's a new asset. I can ex create the existing line work if I, so if I had it actually in place previously, but I don't. I can now sync this back to Inventor. You will now notice that the cable tray has been put into Inventor, so you can see here, down at the bottom, but the really clever part is all the parts that are not standard um, are actually denoted in red so you can see exactly which ones are going to have to be specially made so this is where asset chaining really comes in useful and then we can go back and sync it back to AutoCAD and update the overall layout In next week's show, I'll be covering Inventor. If you have any questions relating to today's episode, just email factory at manandmachine.co.uk and I'll do my best to answer them in time for the next show. To keep up to date with all the latest news, follow us on Twitter at Man and Machine UK, or you can find us on Facebook and LinkedIn. Don't forget to register for the National Factory Design Conference, where you can find out about overcoming all of the latest issues affecting the sector. The event is taking place at the National Metal Forming Centre in West Bromwich, on Wednesday the 26th of September. To book your free place, go to manamachine.co.uk forward slash NFD conference. Thanks again and we look forward to seeing you next time.